Hello all, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I am going to be doing my first set of fall nails. I'm super excited. It's not exactly fall yet in Florida. Honestly, the switch from summer to fall is more like one day you just don't sweat as much because it's colder. <laughs> um, anyways, I've already prepped my nails by doing a fill. I use the Madame Glam Soak Off Builder Gel in light beige. As you can see, my left hand is gorgeous and my right hand has not yet been done, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just fully make over my left hand and give my right hand a chance later on. Because I've just done a fill on my nails and I don't wanna file off gel polish, I'm going to be using this peel off base coat by Bow Polish. I'm gonna do two coats fully even um, and I'm going to try not to get too far over the edge on the tip of my nail just so that uh, I don't have any exposure. That is something very important to do when you're using peel off base coats. I let that dry for about eight minutes and now I'm getting my brush cleaning essence, my brushes and a little glass cup. We're gonna be working with this, which is a color cube by Model Ones. Um, it's one of their bigger color cubes. Normally they have like nine colors. I think this one's like 21 or something like that. But it is a bunch of different gel polishes in this really adorable compact which I bought for myself as a Mother's Day present, and I love it so far. It was $11, and as you can see, it has multiple colors. So if you were gonna go traveling and you had a peel-off base coat, you just toss this, the base coat, the brushes in your bag with like the essence cleaner, which, you know, just to clean off the brushes and you're done. Oh, and don't forget the LED light. Um, what I like about this so far is that the polishes are I wanna say they're thinner to work with than the bottle gels, so they don't build up as much bulk, which is fantastic. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with gel nails is that occasionally, if you have too much polish on the brush and you go to cure it, you're gonna have like bulky sides. It's just a whole thing with me. This goes on so thin that you actually don't have that issue as much. The only like caveat I would have to say is you have to do more coats. So to be fully opaque, I had to paint my pointer finger with three coats of the black, or no, it was four coats of the black, and then my pinky was three coats of this lovely honey color. I'm curing for a full minute between coats with these. Just remember they are gel, I'm just not showing the lamp because it's so hard to get it positioned sometimes. I need to buy a mini one for my filming so that it doesn't get in the way. Now I'm going to do the design on my middle finger and my ring finger. What I like about designs like this is that they always come out different uh, depending on you know what you're going for. I start off by doing a sort of wiggly line on my nail. I'm not going for anything specific. I just kind of want flow. Uh, where it looks like not, I want to say not jagged, but gets a nice smooth like motion. And I'm doing three coats of the yellow. And because I have to do this, just this little portion of the nail, I'm actually doing flash cures of 10 seconds. And then I do the next coat. Now I'm going to work with this caramel color that has sort of a mustard tone to it. I guess, like, what is that that spice that has this yellow color? It's like either saffron or turmeric. <laughs> One of them has like this base of saffron, I guess is what it is, because that caramel also has a shift of mustard in it. I'm using a fine pointed brush to do a thin line, and I'm trying to keep the line smooth and going along with the bottom of the top color. I'm also trying to keep the coat even and consistent so that it's not too lumpy because that can happen when doing designs with gel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a second line over it just to make sure it's as opaque as possible and I will be covering any bumps or anything that doesn't look like it should mesh with the top color 
I'm just going to get that line as clean and smooth as possible. And now I'm going to do the same following up with the black color. These lines are actually done over the peel off base coat. Remember that that is not covered with any sort of gel polish just yet because um, if you don't remember that and you go to the bathroom and then you wash your hands, it will have ruined your nails because you can't get that peel off base coat wet until it is covered with a top coat. Now that I'm done with that black line, I'm going to go ahead and just do the star portion of the nail design. And this part goes so much faster because you're just making little dots. Try not to flick excess polish uh, and, you know, and streak your dots, but you can just throw them around willy nilly, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to expand a couple of these to look like closer stars that are twinkling. I have such shaky hands that this is almost the most difficult thing for me to do because it's so tiny and I want to spend as much time working on it but because my hand shakes so much and the space I'm working with is so small it gets messed up fast but here they are without a top coat or anything I'm just letting I've cured them already and now I'm going to use the matte top coat I wanted to give it a sort of velvety finish because I really do associate mattes with fall more than anything even though i just don't really care for matte polishes i guess they don't it's they're no matter whether they're a regular polish or a gel they're always difficult to get to just be smooth and perfect and i don't know why that is it's just an issue i've had so i was actually trying to apply this matte coat with my brush that i was using to do the colors because something about it was nice it was giving um even coats and I thought maybe if I did that with the matte top coat it would work better. Uh, spoiler alert, it really doesn't. I did two coats with this brush and it didn't help. It actually was a little weird because in spots it wasn't matte and in spots it was. So then I went ahead and I applied it regularly as I normally do with the brush that came with the bottle. Um, Remember that warning about washing your hands? Uh, I did that and I can tell I've already messed up my nails because there's like little air bubbles underneath the yellow on my middle finger. Just a heads up, when you're using a peel off base coat and gel, you really have, and honestly any polish, you just have to really be careful to make sure that you've covered the margins of the peel off because the second your hands get a little wet, if the water finds where you've left it exposed, those nails are done. I've fully cured them, but as you can see, those are the air bubbles and I have them on my ring finger, which is so frustrating because I worked so hard and so long <laughs> to get these nails done. And I even stayed up late because my boy's asleep and now they are gonna come off. <laughs> I'm going to finish off the manicure with some cuticle oil. It is so important right now for me. I wash my hands all the time. It's like I spend more time with my hands wet than I do dry. And my cuticles are getting chapped. I'm washing away all of the nice healthy oils on my hands. So I have to replace it after every manicure, like every day before bed, that's what I do. I do cuticle oil, I do a nice thick lotion, and I just let it dry. So these are the nails. They're a little shiny because of the oil, but they'll matten up soon. That's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.